Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to compile and run C code in Visual Studio Code. So first of all, let's get hold of Visual Studio Code. And this is obviously on Linux. If you want to do this on Windows or Mac or using some sort of other editor or terminal method, I've got videos of that. So feel free to check them out. So you want to just just know that. Google Visual Studio Code. And I messed that up there. Is that the one? That isn't the one. There we go. Okay, so I'll provide a link to this. I'll download this .deb or the .rpm depending on which you know OS you're on. I'm on Ubuntu, so just click that. And I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel this. So cancel that. Open up your terminal. You can open it from the all app section as well. And I'm going to zoom in. Let me close this down. I'm going to zoom in as well. So you can see the command I'm about to run. Open up where your download is. So for me, it's in downloads. And it's this right here. We need to run it. To run it, you put sudo dpkg dp. Okay, gee, this is a one-time thing, and then you'll be able to open it via the app menu, dash I, space, drag and drop this on, click enter, type in your user password, it will not appear in asterisk or unsecured form, but it is typing, then click enter, and here we go, so this is just fixing that, this is just installing it, and it shouldn't take long at all, pretty much done now okay one thing i want to show you is if you get any sort of error saying in this command dpk dpkg is locked or used by some other process there's a few different ways of fixing it the one i found was running sudo space apt dash get space in store space dash f so yeah so try that one if you have any other problems feel free to message on the discord group the link in the description now we can actually run visual studio so if i open up all apps type in visual there we go click that here we go and now what we need to do is actually install a couple of extensions so go to run oh, run what am i doing view i'm gonna go to preferences extensions and you want to search for c by microsoft c for slash c plus plus click install next what you want to do is search for something called code runner by john han and just install that as well now we can actually test out some code so what you want to do is go to file or go to explorer open folder now on the desktop we're going to open a new create a new folder i've already got one there called tester app and what i'm going to do actually is delete the contents of it just so we can start fresh and do, 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 do. okay so we've got the test app selected click ok and yep that's fine click trust and now what we're going to do is create a new file i'm going to call it main.c and in here we're going to put the contents of our c application so if you just google c sample code hello world i would get the code from program is.com it's just generic code that you know been repeated a million times before paste that in and click Control s for save and if we look it is in here okay so we're almost done before we configure fully configured it we could technically run it right now so if i click this run button we can run that or we can right click it and run code as well so if we do that you'll compile it there we go so the problem with this method is you won't notice it in this video you would notice it if you followed this setup method for videos that are later in the series that show you how to get input from the console whereas because the output is literally for output whereas terminal you can actually get some sort of input whereas with the output 
you cannot. As you can see, I'm typing nothing's coming up. So to do to fix that, you want to go to File, Preferences, and you want to go to Settings and go to Extensions. You need to do this after you've installed the code runner, otherwise you won't have this option. Scroll down to Run Code, and here you want to select the option that says Run in Terminal. So Run Code in Terminal, and that's it. And if I click run now, it runs it in the terminal instead. So there you go, it says hello world. Obviously, if you want this on a new line, you just put a new line character. That's obviously something that was automatically handled in the output. But there you go, need to save it actually. Save it, there we go. So that's it. That's how you set up Visual Studio Code so you can run C code in Visual Studio Code on your Linux machine. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.